Hi, you guys. This is Black and Blue, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into today's bank strap search video. <laughs> Let's go. This is Black and Blue. Go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So, <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. <laughs> I am so excited to do today's bank strap video. First, I'm gonna use my super cute blinged out lighter case, holding a classic lighter. Yes, I love this. This is in my shop if you're interested. I love that people are actually buying this. I don't know if you're using it for candles or what, but that's what I use mine for and I love it. So let's go ahead and light this. This candle is from Cure Naturals. And as the video goes on, you guys will see that there's like sprinkles hidden in there because it looked like a cupcake was frosting before I ever burned it and it melts and looks so pretty. So we're gonna have this just hanging out over here. Try not to burn up my plant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, today we are going to be bank strap searching. Now, when I first started doing these videos, they actually had the bank straps on them, but I did change banks. And for whatever reason, this bank is against bank straps because they have yet to give me any. <laughs> so, but I'm still calling it a bank strap search because that's what we're doing. Essentially, I go to the bank and I take my money out, however much I want to take out. Right now, my bank has a limit of 3000 per day in cash. So I took out 3000 and then I went to the ATM and took out 400. So I tried to get as much as I could. So we're going to be taking out the 3400. We are going to go through it to see if we can find any star notes. That's what I look for specifically. And star notes are when in the making process of the money, they mess up a bill and for whatever reason they need to scrap it and make a new one but they want to use the same serial number so they use the same serial number but instead of having a letter here they have a little star like a legit star in place of the letter after the serial number and they have it here and here so they both should match if they don't match you're in for some big money but they <laughs> i've never found one that doesn't match i've looked long and hard for a bill that has mismatched serial numbers and that is not easy to come by but once you start looking for it your eyes just automatically kind of look for it but yeah so super excited now this money where does it come from this money is actually my youtube paycheck that i just got which i honestly can't remember the number right now <laughs> i'll have it somewhere on the screen or something but it was 1000 something i want to say maybe 1112 i believe but there's that as well as we launched our small business website we launched and holy crap it's been it hasn't even been two weeks yet it's been a week and five days and holy cow you guys came and showed out because you guys supported me like hardcore i know a lot of you guys are waiting for my shop to reopen because i did close and in preparation of a website and it was a really good way to force me to finally do a website because i i said i'm closing i'll open with a website i couldn't open without a website it was literally like i said it now i have to do it so that's what happened now while looking through these bills you know i'd like to find a topic to talk about so while looking for a star note we will be talking about the difference between having a website with a small business and having a small business where you're selling on instagram or in person or just just the difference because i've done that and now that i have a website my mind is like I talked about it on my Instagram and I was just like, I need to do a video about this because I need everyone to see and listen and hear the difference. Because if you have a shop or you're thinking about opening a shop and you're not sure whether to do Etsy or Shopify or Wix or all these other options, I trust me, I went and I, I talked to friends who have Etsy. I talked to friends who have Etsy and a web website. I've talked to people about the options that I have and how they felt about what they were doing and I you guys I covered the bases but let's go ahead and look for some star notes hopefully I find some if not I, I have some star notes over here that I have found in the past that I can show you what it looks like just in case we don't find one but 
I have high hopes we're going to find some. We got hundreds, fifties, twenties, and tens. That's what we're working with today. And uh, for those of you that like bills all facing the same way, so do I. However, when I get the money from the bank, they give it to me in whatever way it's going to be. And I don't want to look through it and accidentally see if there's a star note. So I don't look at it. I just say, you know what, I'll be flipping and searching as we talk. And hopefully it doesn't bother you. It, you it's something that I think would have bothered me. But since I know the the mission, I know the, the what is it? I know the assignment. <laughs> I'm okay with it. But let's go ahead and start looking. Remember, we're looking here or here for a star, a cute little star. Ah, okay. So when it comes to small business, now I, I'm, first of all, I am astonished that I even opened a small business because I never saw that for myself. However, having a small business and not having a website, pros and cons. Pro, I think you get to keep more of your money. No matter, no matter what site you go with, or not necessarily there are some technically free sites but how many listings can you actually have and how successful can you be with only the little bit that a free website can give you yeah not mm, wasn't something that i saw for myself especially for my business because there's so many options in my shop there's no way that i could have only done like 10 listings or five listings and had a free website so so with having my website and not having or having my shop and not having a website, I was basically doing every little detail. You guys, I was talking to everybody and on my Instagram or my email. These are really nice bills. This one has a little rip in it, but minus that, this is a really nice bill. And it took up, let me tell you, half of my day was talking to people to take orders. The other half of the day was making the products. And I really just needed help with everything, everything. I need help with everything, honestly, because the orders were coming in and I was not able to pump them out as fast as I wanted to because I was taking the orders, talking to people, trying to figure out what they wanted. And it was fun, but it was definitely time consuming. So a plus for having a website, I don't have to I don't have to really have a conversation before an order's placed. I literally will be at the store, I'll be at work, and I just hear the ching, 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 and I'm like, yay, people are ordering, and I have no idea who they are. <laughs> no idea. Now, a pro with talking to everybody on Instagram or my email was that I knew I could pinpoint what you ordered. Like, if you have a website or if you have a YouTube channel, I knew what you ordered from me. We talked about it. I made it. I sent it to you. I hoped you loved it. <laughs> I had time to think about it. So I knew a lot of these 10s are nice. I'm not, I haven't seen nice 10s in a long time. A long fives around here are new. Like, they order fives like it's going out of style. 10s. Ew, they're usually not cute, but these are nice. So, so I am just, I'm so excited that I now get orders and I don't even know they're coming. It's almost like, it's almost like when you're in a relationship, you don't want to ask him to, to like propose to you. You just want it to happen like a surprise, like boom, I'm being, and I'm being asked to marry you. I didn't know it was coming. That's how, that's how, that's how the orders are. It's like, wow, oh my God, I didn't even know you were going to order. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. But super, super excited. And let's see, having a Instagram to take orders or email. Let's see, pros and cons. I'm like looking for star notes and my mind is a little mushy. It's kind of hard to talk and look at the same time, actually, when it's something like this because I didn't make a list, which I probably should have. Maybe I'll talk about it again when I actually like make a list and all of that. Okay, so the next thing is organization. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have, oh my gosh, I've gone through different ways of keeping track of orders, different ways of keeping track of the money. And whoo, let me tell you guys, I have, when it comes to sending orders out, I have sent people the same order twice. Like they literally got the same order in the mail twice. <laughs> sometimes two packages at once, sometimes a package way later. Like I already got my order. I'm like, well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks because I just think about the time that I took to make it twice when I could have made someone else's order. So that's literally what I think about. It's time. 
not so much of lost product or anything like that but the time so organization is huge when it comes to having a shopify which i do have I, the organization the tracking that they have and we haven't found a starno yet i'm a little nervous <laughs> but that it's amazing i feel like i gave those duties to somebody else somebody else now takes orders for me someone else now keeps track of the money someone keeps track of whether i sent the package or not <laughs> whether it's delivered or not how many orders i have left until i have zero orders oh my goodness it's absolutely amazing i love 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 having a website so much so organization is a huge one i man i messed up so many times you guys couldn't remember if i sent something out sometimes somebody would message me and say hey just checking on my order and i'd be like who when when did you order like what or i would i would like wake up or not even wake up i would be laying down and i would be like oh my god did I ever do that one order? And in my mind, did I ever do it? Because you guys see like the um the sprinkles, they look so cute. In my mind, if I had a conversation with somebody, like a long conversation, like, oh, I'm thinking about this or I was wondering about that. And then I'm like, yeah, that's possible. And then they don't order. In my mind, it's like, um, did I ever do that order? But no, they never paid for it. So I didn't do it. But in my mind, since we talked about it, it was like my mind thought I should have made it. That was, whew, that was kind of stressful. When it comes to organization, going back through messages on Instagram was kind of stressful. Like, like who was it that asked about this? Who was that? I can't remember. And I'm sitting here going through a massive amount of messages trying to figure out who it was. Oh my goodness. I'm like, you know what? I give up. I will let that person message me when they are like wondering, you know, where is this or something because I just could not find certain messages that I was looking for that I've had conversations about. That was pretty hard. That was kind of stressful. Okay, not one star note in the tens. What? What in the world? Okay, no star notes in the tens. I'm worried. You know what? Does my bank, is there someone there already looking for star notes? That'd be wild. I'd be like, no. Okay, we're going off. We're going into the 20s. Yeah, we're going to the 20s. So this website has relieved me so much. And I think that not only is it good for me, it's good for everybody else. There's people that weren't able to use PayPal, Cash App, Zelle. And those are the three options that I personally use. I think one person, one, two people paid in cash. They mailed me the cash. And then one person paid in Apple Pay. Wait, actually, that might still be in Apple Pay. I don't really know how to redeem Apple Pay. So I let somebody pay in Apple Pay and I don't even know how to get the money. So it was it was more so I'm so excited when someone can get something that they want from my shop. It's like the money will come or, you know, whatever. But I just I'm excited that somebody wants something from my shop. So I do what I can to get that thing to that person. <laughs> so love it. Love that for my shop. <laughs> OK, we are looking for a star note. Oh, you might hear my dog eating. I just heard him chew. I should go take him for a walk. <laughs> oh my God. Let me know what you guys think about my shop. There are things I'm not tech savvy. And a part of me waiting to open up a shop was I'm not tech savvy. I don't like learning new technology. I don't like learning new things. It drives my sister crazy because she's like, what are you, 90? I'm like, and if what if I am? So... That drives her nuts. She loves technology and she's good at it. That's the only reason I have a YouTube right now because because she set it up for me and she helped me from start to like a couple videos in. She was editing for me. So shout out to my sis. <laughs> she has a YouTube too that she doesn't post on very often, but she does watch videos. She doesn't comment very often either, but she does watch. So even my videos, you guys won't see her very much in my comment section, but she's watching. She better be. <laughs> oh my goodness. 20s. Okay. Mm. If you guys have any questions about the small business, I know a lot of people have small businesses already. And I get questions about like, why did I go with Shopify? And I went with Shopify because I did some like digging 
on YouTube as well, comparing all the websites that I knew of that I could have gone with. GoDaddy, um, Wix. There's so many different ones. I was like, I was like Shopify versus this, Shopify versus that, <laughs> Shopify versus Etsy. And I have to say, I'm very happy that I did open no, no star notes in the twenties. I'm very happy that I did go with Shopify because the ease that I had, it was a learning curve setting up the website actually, but I did it. And if I can do it, anybody can trust and believe anybody can. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this has almost all double digits except one because it's odd numbers, obviously. But 22, 88. Oh no. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, it is all even. So if this zero was over here, it'd be 22, 88, 8, 0, 0. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. And I just looked to see, make sure that the serial numbers were matching. What was I saying? What was I, I forgot what I was saying? I'm just excited, you guys. I'm so excited. This video right here is possible because of my YouTube paycheck, because of my small business bling business that you guys are supporting and purchasing from me. No star notes at all. I will say that I never saw myself having a small business. I love making things and I always have. They're hobbies for me. But this hobby has definitely turned into like a small little business that you guys appreciate and that you guys like like just as much as I do, <laughs> which is amazing. But I will have my website down in the, the description box if you guys are interested in looking at my website. If you guys want to see where this money came from. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm astonished. Like I have my normal nine to five job and then I have YouTube and then I have my small business. And this is all small business. This is not all of the money that was made within the first week and five days. So my YouTube check is 1000 something. Should have seen it on the screen or, or in the title. And then my small business made you guys more than what is here. <laughs> it made over four thousand dollars close to five thousand in the first week so i am in complete shock i am still trying to gather together how i'm going to be doing like how what percentage or how much am i going to be stuffing in my savings challenges because it all goes to savings all of youtube all of side hustle small business goes into savings only that means savings challenges that means long-term savings binder in my different categories like holiday, April, my daughter's college, her savings, my emergency fund, and my savings. So that's where all the money goes. And I'm trying to decide how much am I saving? I'm saving everything. Okay, so I'm saving everything when it comes to how much am I taking out for expenses for the small business. Someone asked me this and I'll tell you right in this video. You guys, when it comes to packaging, I have done so much fetch like fetch that they have fetch has paid on amazon is where i get my packaging so fetch has paid for so much of my packaging that right there is something that is an expense i didn't have to worry about because because fetch and if you guys don't know what fetch is holy cow it's where you take pictures of your receipts on your phone you just take a, a picture in the app and then they do whatever they're going to do with it. I don't know what the, why they want pictures of receipts. I have no clue. However, I don't care. All I know is they give me points towards gift cards. And those gift cards, I redeem for Amazon gift cards. There's different options, but I go for the Amazon because I can get just about anything on Amazon. Not like my rhinestones and stuff. The pens I do, the pens I can get on Amazon as well. So like, oh, I thought I had it next to me. So... I get a lot of things on Amazon and thank you Fetch because I have been able to get so many things that I need for the business and it hasn't had to come out of my pocket. So that's one really cool thing. Now, when it comes to shipping and all of that, I've had a buffer. When I first opened my business, that first launch month, we made 5,000 ish dollars. I don't remember the exact number. But that money was never stuffed. However, it was put into my buffer. And I've been using my buffer for shipping, for products. And I need to figure out a way to like, figure out 
how much of what we make is gonna go back into I just have to figure that out I don't have a business binder and maybe I should maybe I should I don't know how that would work out <laughs> that'd be so much figuring out and I love keeping things as simple as possible so <laughs> don't do as I do do as I say I'm just kidding but that's all I know for now I can't do a whole dedicated video really on how I am doing expensive expenses for the business because I don't know yet I'm still it's a work in progress right now but what I do know is that I am using my buffer for purchasing things and the money that I make so far I've been putting into savings so it's kind of like a give and take like I take out of my buffer and I put this into my savings so eventually my buffer will dwindle down dwindle down to where it's finito and then i will it will never really be finito but because i'm always adding to it but then i will need a strategic plan for said situation otherwise it's just going to come out of savings so i'll be putting into savings as i'm taking out of savings which has honestly been my way of budgeting prior to and still kind of till today so you know you know okay anyways I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm Tinny. Oh, wait. My fetch code is you should have seen it on the screen. But if you want to get fetch, download it on your phone. Use my code. You'll get 2,000 points to start off with for scanning your first receipt. And all you got to do is scan receipts. You don't have to buy anything special. Just you go to the grocery store. Scan it. You go to McDonald's. Scan it. You go to the ATM. Scan it. So, yeah. I'm Tinny. <laughs> Bye.